I've been regretting my past life. <laughs> yes, okay, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well, regrets, I've had a few. Yes. Yeah, it's one of my favorite songs. Uh -huh, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Well, you know, COVID and all the rest of it has given us a lot of time to reflect. Yes. Which actually is not a good thing because, you know, you know, I mean, I've, I've, I've led a fairly modest life. Yes. And there are unkind people who've said, I have a lot to be modest about. <laughs> yes. <laughs> The uh, I think what what did you get out of the pandemic? And I know we're all tired of talking about COVID oh, and stuff. Absolutely. But was the pandemic as disastrous for you in the end? Absolutely not. Uh, the truth of the matter is, um, other than the fact that I wasn't working, uh, I barely noticed any difference or change in my lifestyle. I still live where I live. Um, I still have the friends that I have. I still have the uh, the family that I have. I never missed a meal. Uh, still went to Florida for the winter. Uh, basically, uh, it was a non-event. You know, it's an interesting how little money you need when you don't leave the house. Absolutely. As soon as you get up in the morning and you start that car, uh, it's not just the wear and tear on the car, it's the gas, it's the oil. It's uh, And then you're speeding going out, tickets. speeding <laughs> tickets, parking tickets. It, it, the list is really endless. <laughs> so really, I mean, what it taught me, I think, is uh, really just staying at home. Um, I mean, I came to the office every day. I was, I'm lucky I have well, the warehouse. Well, you're needed here. Uh, yes, that's right. I'm needed here. There's a lot of walk-in traffic. Uh, I mean, I haven't had any in the last couple of days, mind you. Well, but, but a couple of days ago, somebody did, oh no, sorry, that was a return. Never mind. <laughs> but uh, anyways, somebody could walk in at any time. It and could happen. Now, Dave, you, you have a day set aside where you speak to your children and they're scattered all tell, over the tell, world. Tell me what day that is and who's online it's with you. Tomorrow, Sunday, every Sunday, we have our Zoom family get together, uh, which, my, which my daughter in England, Lindsay, uh, she kind of started this up many, uh, well, two Dur and a half years ago. During COVID, now. was it? During COVID. Yeah. Because we weren't seeing each other and uh, she thought this would be a good way of keeping in touch. So every Sunday afternoon I get on Zoom. Uh, Lindsay uh, starts it out from uh, in her place in Stamford, just north of London. Uh, Sarah in Mexico City joins us. Uh, I join in. Now, I do have another daughter uh, who lives in uh, Toronto, so I can see her anyway, so I don't really care if she shows up. Yes, not, but so. <laughs> yes, but she does join in. But she joins she in. She does join in. Yeah. And, uh, and now you have a grandson. How many grandchildren do you have? Uh, you're trying to age me? No, no, public? there's no, no, in no. Public? No, no, I'm not trying to age you, but you do have some <sighs> uh, very old grandchildren. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> You've got some grandchildren. Listen, there are some people that, kind of know me that don't know my age or my grandchildren. No, again, this isn't about outing me. This isn't about you're age. This is a, this me. is about grandchildren who most people are proud of and want to talk about. <laughs> oh, I'm them. very, very proud of them. I just don't want people to know about them. But anyways, you you went bicycle riding with one of them oh, during yeah. yes. Yeah. And uh we used to do that uh you know once or twice a week. We'd just get on our bikes and go for a ride. And that was those two of them, the two two that live here in Toronto. I don't ride my bike with the two that live in No, England. now in it's my notes, in my notes, Dave, you you had a, a <laughs> bicycle crash, did you not? Oh, oh, did you, oh, did you oh. want? Did, did you want? Wait a minute, <laughs> this is a setup. <laughs> That's all I can say. Is, you had a crash on your bike. Can you tell me about that day and how that happened? I don't remember. I can tell you, I remember. <laughs> you were riding along. It had something to do with a pylon, I believe, Dave. Did it not? Um, where did this come from? Dave, this, this, this is, is just this is this just is what's called an ambush. No, it's not an ambush. I'm just it's looking at our researchers here have come across. But it uh, was it was actually unfair. Yeah, and not my fault. Of course not. I'm a. I, How I'm fast a, was the pylon going when it collided with you? I was just going to say it jumped <laughs> out in front of me. It, yes, I was riding along, you know, behaving myself. I'm an excellent bike bicyclist, and I was riding along minding my own business, and this pylon, this orange pylon, about two feet tall, jumped out at me <laughs> from behind the car. Yes. And so, I mean, I, I took evasive action. Good and, thinking, uh, yes. Fell on my face. <laughs> <laughs> now, any any injuries to this? Uh, well, none that show anymore. No, I mean, okay. It's, <laughs> it's, uh, long gone. <laughs> anyway, I want to thank you for tuning in to our uh, 
Saturday show talk. Uh, it was. Uh, I'm so glad that Dave was here that we could test out I these wish new I could mics. Say the same. Well, Dave, you know what? One out of two isn't bad in any game. <laughs> Guys, have a yabba dabba doodad. A dabba doodad. Have a doodad day. <laughs>